Here are some notes on diffusion hypoxia, also called the Fink effect. This is a phenomenon that occurs during emergence from nitrous oxide anesthesia. When nitrous oxide anesthesia is discontinued, you have large amounts of gas that comes out of the bloodstream into the alveoli. Now, nitrous oxide is one of the shorter acting gas anesthetics, so you have a large, large amount that comes very quickly, rapidly exiting the blood into the alveoli. This typically occurs in the first five to 10 minutes after stopping nitrous oxide. This rapid outgassing creates two problems. You have a high concentration of nitrous oxide that results in the alveoli, which dilutes the available oxygen there. This lowers the partial pressure of oxygen and can potentially cause hypoxemia. It also enhances carbon dioxide washout. So because you have so much nitrous oxide coming out, that carbon dioxide also kind of fo follows it. This is similar to the second gas effect, but kind of in reverse. This leads to hypocarbia, low arterial CO2, which can decrease your respiratory drive. The washout can be pretty substantial. Several liters per minute of gas can leave the blood at the same time. In order to prevent this, you should use 100% oxygen, an FiO2 of 1.0 during emergence and recovery from nitrous oxide anesthesia. This helps to maintain adequate oxygenation despite the dilutional effects of the nitrogen uh, of the nitrous oxide washout.